The word is constantly being thrown around at your local church. It's being misused, as if it's a substitute for truth. I don't need proof. I have faith. Right, because you don't have proof. So I go, uh, you're faith-based, right? Yeah, okay, uh, then that's it. That should be the end. How can you continue the debate? No one else can disprove or prove. I mean, you can't even prove yourself. Faith allows you to be sure of something you have no reason to be sure of. I guess the religious have never heard of a dictionary or Google, so let me do the hard work for you. I know you're probably busy praying or something. By definition, faith is to believe in something for which there is no proof. What a lovely luxury that must be. No wonder there are so many different religions and beliefs, some more insane than others. Because all it requires is your imagination. Unlike those crazy scientists who, you know, demand things to be proven. Stupid idiots. Imagine if faith was introduced in the scientific process. And what proof do you have that the world is round? I have none, but I do have quite a bit of faith. Good enough for me. And then there are those who teach our young and old to settle for this pathetic denial of our critical thinking. To turn it off, really. To believe anything. Remember that old line, don't believe everything you read? Especially if the book is a collection of ancient texts written by dozens of unknown authors over a thousand period of time, uh, second and third hand accounts, sometimes 60 to 80 years after the fact, translated, retranslated, edited, passed through political figures' hands, and full of stories that are hard to believe with supernatural accounts. No shit you need faith. A lot. You're far more trusting than I, or just more foolish. So feel free to put all your eggs in that basket. Uh, I'll be over here. Right. I don't need proof. I have faith.